Hello, beautiful strength sisters. We are just moving at a really great pace right now. You guys are killing it, doing great. And today I want us to talk a little bit about health and keeping your goals, doing holidays and birthdays and work events and cookouts and grills and special events that we get um, invited to go to. And one of the things that I want us to learn about, you know, special activities and holidays and things like that is that, you know, enjoying life is a healthy thing. It's healthy. Remember, we are looking to be healthy all around, right? So for us to avoid events or avoid activities or not go somewhere because there's a piece of cake for a birthday party, like I'm not going to go to that birthday party because there's no cake there, uh, but because I can't have the cake there, sorry. Um, those are just unrealistic um, expectations that we don't want you to have. We want you to not revolve your life around food, right? I want you to understand that um, going to your holiday party or your um, birthday party or a cookout or Labor Day, Memorial Day, you name it, July 4th. Um, so focus on having fun. Um, why are you there? And it is so important that if we can take a little bit of a mind shift and say, you know what, I'm here to celebrate the occasion, not just the food, so I can make this happen. Like I, if it's a birthday, I'm here to celebrate this person. I'm not here to just celebrate food, okay? And have a little mind switch over that to help us just try to stay on track. It doesn't need to be perfect, but let's just see how are we supposed to face days like this? How are we supposed to face the holidays and events like this and keep our healthy goals in front of us? So just know this, listen, they are exceptions to the rules, okay? Remember, it's only one day don't allow one or two days to be an excuse or fall of falling off your path. Okay. Um, sometimes even if you don't, if you're not perfect, if you don't do great during that one holiday or that one birthday day, a lot of people, what they do is they throw the towel and say, whatever, I'm never going to be able to do this because I messed up this one day or these two days or the season for Christmas. I didn't keep track. I didn't keep it tight. So forget it. Um, just understand that is not, you know, that is not a long time. You can't base the rest of your journey on a one or a two day or even a couple weeks during Christmas or summertime um, and say, I'm never going to do this. It's never going to work. So let's just talk about some things that we could do for these events, right? Like, first of all, like if you're the host, um, it's awesome because you are in control of the food. So if you're hosting the birthday party or if you're hosting an event or a cookout, that's kind of, um, I'm not saying that it's super easy, but just know that you're in control so you can offer options and you can have things for your own self that are actually going to keep you kind of on track. It doesn't need to be perfect, but you're going to be able to um, manipulate things a little more, right? Um, so those are, those are just important things. If you're not the host, always bring something. Everybody likes when somebody brings something to their party. Um, offer to bring healthy options. A couple of my favorites are like shrimp platters, okay? Um, a little salmon rolled pot platter, nuts, berry salad with cool whip, okay? That's so easy and low calorie. Um, low calorie dips that you can make with like Greek yogurt, Greek plain yogurt. Um, there's so many great options online and even on our Strength Sisters page that you can choose from as far as like bringing something that fit your plan. So you are actually there and you can enjoy some treats and you can enjoy things that you bring and that work for you as well. And one that is a really huge one is this, guys, don't starve all day to wait for the party and say, I'm just going to wait to do all my calories whenever I arrive to the party. Don't do that. That is a big mistake, okay? Drink lots of water throughout the day. And one of the things that I would love for you to do is to make a my fitness sample day for um, that particular day. For example, 
Uh, and we've already talked about this. It's very much like the eating out that we did that sample um, um, some lessons ago. So it would be in the morning, I'm going to have a very big egg white omelet. I'm going to avoid a lot of the carbs and the fat during the day. Um, at lunch, I'm going to have my two, three cups of lettuce with some onions and peppers and a can of tuna right? Look what I'm doing, right? I'm going to have maybe my protein shake and I may not put the berries and the bananas on it at this time. I am eating my protein. I'm drinking a lot of water, being hydrated. And when I get to that event, I have numbers to play with. I'm being wise with my numbers, okay? And you know what? If for that event, it's a birthday party or it's your, one of your children's birthday or your husband's birthday or your sister's or your aunt's or, or Christmas for that matter, you may go a little bit over your numbers. Don't worry about it. Relax. Okay, try to not go over those calories. It's one day. It's not going to kill you. Now, you don't want to do that every weekend. I'm talking about special events, okay? Choose wisely from foods available. So scout the table of foods and say, don't look at what you just want. Just say, what are the options here? So if there's protein, go fill up on protein before you go to the cookies or before you go to the snack. If there's some fruit and some veggies, like fill up your plate with healthy options, okay? And then go ahead and have a treat or two treats and make it work, okay? Another thing. Eat slow when you're in a party. A lot of times you're in the middle of fellowship and hanging out with people and talking. So don't make it about the food. We have a bad habit of making everything about the food. Um, and one of the things that I want us to work on is making it about the occasion, okay? Um, like Christmas is not just about the food. It's about family. It's about fellowship. It's about spending time with each other, right? So make the occasion bigger than, the, make that meaning bigger than what the food is, okay? So um, that, that's really important. And if you can start looking at things like that and start shifting your brain and um, your mindset on that, like I'm here to celebrate this person's life. I'm not just here for that big piece of cake. And then have a little piece of cake, like just portions. Have a little piece of cake, has a little trip, um, treat, enjoy, but make it about the occasion and enjoy. Eat slow. Remember, it takes like 20 minutes for your body to figure out that is full. Another great thing to do during holidays and special events is to stay active. Okay. Um, so I love our gym. We always have like for like Memorial Day or Labor Day, we always have like the Murph or like a big workout, okay? And if you cannot do one of those workouts, we always have alternatives and modifications for our clients when it comes to that. But go on a 30-minute walk that day, like a little extra. If there is like I'm Puerto Rican, so at every single one of our parties for Christmas, Thanksgiving, we literally have a karaoke machine. We take it out and we dance big time. My daddy's 72 and um, he spins us and we can be dancing for hours. So we eat and we dance. Let me tell you something. It's some serious cardio that goes on at my living, in my living room. So maybe plan events that are like have some activity in them. Like a lot of times in the cookouts, the kids may be playing soccer or throwing, throw a football to your kid or volleyball or um, in the pool, like swim, do a couple of laps. If you're if you're gonna be in a, a, somewhere where it's like um, it has a pool and it's a cookout or something like that, but add some activity to whatever you are doing that day, um, some extra movement, and that always helps as well. So those are just some tips for you to just um, follow. We are going to um, we've already talked about alcohol, and you all know how I feel about alcohol and your special location. Sometimes it's a deal breaker. But again, if you're going to do alcohol on your special occasions and these birthdays and celebrations, be wise. Low in sugar, use that sparkling water, um, um, soda, 
and um, and be smart when you do alcoholic beverages because they can be a deal breaker. Our liver can stop burning fat and stop doing what we want it to do and ruin all of our progress. So that is kind of like an individual plan and we can talk about that. Um, um, one on one when it comes to the time, but these are just some little tips that I wanted to give you to make sure that you do enjoy the holidays, that you are part of them, and that you're not depriving. A lot of the times, I personally um, like to tell my clients, "Do not text me during Christmas what you if you can eat the pie or not. I'm having the pie. I'm having a cookie." A lot of the challenges that I do during Christmas and summer is I tell my clients I'm going to actually um, reward them if they come back, maintain, or with less than two pounds gain over a vacation or Christmas. And it's awesome. There were, there's been years and seasons that not one of our clients has gained a pound um, doing a vacation or doing Christmas time. So it happens. A lot of people have done it and um, you can maintain and you can do it and you can still enjoy. Remember, we want you healthy all around. So enjoy the holidays and enjoy your birthdays and enjoy your, your um, activities and enjoy people, fellowship, the occasion more than what you're talking about, the food. Make it about the occasion. Hopefully this helped you and see you on our next video, ladies.